Hey, yo, what up, fam? My game. Welcome back to the show, players. I am the host with the most up in this place, Mr. Goodwin of 420. Home, getting my smoke on, and I guess reviewing fucking World War Three up in this place, dog. So apparently, uh, these fucking trash fucking bag motherfuckers out there in uh, Russia claim that uh, World War Three already started. So all over their motherfucking news stations. They're saying that World War Three has begun, player. Now, what we need to understand about Russia is everything that the news station says is basically coming out of the mouth of Putin his fucking self. You get what I'm saying? They are brainwashed fucking zombies. They don't think for themselves. They're basically like Republicans. Anything the fucking leaders tell them to believe is what they're going to fucking believe, dog. They believe some of the most dumbest shit known to fucking mankind, player. So the thing is, what we know about Russia right now is that the only pe- only news station allowed in Russia is Fox News, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and they always run Donald Trump on a loop saying how Putin is a genius. So right now, these motherfuckers have already programmed their fucking people into believing that Trump and the Republicans are on their side, blood. All right, so now we understand what's going on. Let's see what these fucking scumbag motherfuckers from this news station got to say, blood. Even the fact there is an attack. Against our territory. Has begun. России на Украине. То, во что это вылилось, уже смело можно называть не лукавя, Третьей мировой войной. Совершенно точно. Мы прямо сейчас сражаемся, если не с НАТО, то уж точно. So now, and it was infrastructure basically meaning motherfucking buildings, you know, military complexes, the power grid. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, these Christian Russians on Easter are threatening to fucking kill everybody on fucking on the west side, blood. Fellow Christians as well, there's Christians in all these places that they're talking about. So these Russian Christians are threatening to kill every fucking body. around the time of Easter. And not only that, but the Republican Christians who follow Trump thinking he's the seventh, second coming of Christ call Putin a fucking genius player. I think it was a good idea for Russia to get invaded by Ukraine. Now that is what are the facts and what we understand about the entire situation going on. <coughs> now, why is it Putin is ready for World War Three. Why is he prepping his people for World War Three and nukes to be flying around and shit? Why are these people so confident that they will actually win World War Three? NATO, and it too should be recognized with the United States of America. На вопросике они все едут и едут, я имею в виду лидеры. Но лидеров надо предупредить, пусть дома сидят. По Киеву тогда не приедут. Вот что. These Russians got a whole lot of confidence, like they could fucking do something to America. I was giving them that confidence. Is that shit that they play on the Russian TV? Donald Trump on the loop, saying Putin's a genius. Tucker Carlson and Fox News always defending fucking Vladimir Putin and attacking NATO. So these people are brainwashed into believing nearly half of the United States of America is basically on their side, blood. So 
These people are hella confident in destroying America, Europe, and all kinds of other motherfucking individuals. So, why the fuck is it just willing to blow up New York, fucking California, and everybody else in this motherfucking place that don't agree with their corporate dick-sucking, brainwashed fucking ideology? It's because this whole story, ladies and gentlemen, have nothing to do with fucking Ukraine. Okay? These people know the firepower of the United States of America and they not they don't give a flying fuck they are ready for us to nuke the shit out of them why that was because they got some kind of secret weapon that we haven't seen yet or that orange fat motherfucker probably betrayed us planted some bombs all over strategically all over certain cities in America could be mini nuclear bombs to take out a power grid and shit like that. And then the orange motherfucker and his stupid ass people will probably blame it on us on the left side and start attacking us. While our army faces Russia from across the motherfucking land, we'll be fighting each other here. And then, let's see, Xi Jinping will join in the fight, so will Saudi Arabia, because those two are authoritarian assholes. So would King Jong Un, because they will finally realize that the world needs to be run by authoritarian leaders rather than it be a fucking planet that's half full of free thinking motherfucking individuals woke motherfuckers if you will that's the reason why Donald Trump is on the side of Putin because them too want to be authoritarian and rule over people with an iron fist and only have every news station to be like Fox News 100% kiss the corporate motherfucking Ring 24-7 news. So, why would these motherfuckers want to go ahead and start World War Three or some shit like that? Well, because there's two types of people in this world. Those who live above the water and those who live below the water. Those who believe uh, live below the water basically believe the shit that the people above the water say. For instance, Donald Trump lives above the water. He shits in the water. And all his little guppy fucking stupid ass fucking corporate zombie slaves eat that shit up. Tap water turns them gay. Wind was get Jewish space. The next was in faithful wall. All bullshit. But you see, they choose for him to live above the water to tell them everything that is true about their lives. So here's the thing, folks. When you're above the water, you see it all. Putin sees it all. Trump. Me. Fucking a lot of people who live free and now our corporate was only fucking slaves. Uh, the thing is, climate change is real. Climate change is happening. Planet is changing. And those at the top know it to be true. Putin, Trump, all them, they know that their gas company, because remember, Republicans are with the gas companies, okay? They are fossil fuel fucking chugging individuals and so is Vladimir Putin so is Saudi Arabia and then they are all authoritarian they want to rule over everybody with a fucking iron fist baby now you see the woke motherfuckers are trying to get rid of fossil fuels and that is a big no no to them because you're fucking with their kingdom and not only that your woke ass is waking up their fucking corporate zombie slaves and their corporate zombie slaves are starting to fight back so in order to get you off of that shit and to decrease the population, basically they're gonna have to fucking nuke every motherfucking body. And then once everybody's nuked, the authoritarians will fucking take over, make everybody who's woke into fucking slaves to rebuild this motherfucking place. And then it will be hell on fucking earth, baby, because all the fossil fuels will be getting burned, coal will be getting burned. Everything that would be new technology will be banned because authoritarians, anything that will fuck with fossil fuel and coal will be fucking banned. Any kind of new technology that fucks with their wallets will be banned unless it benefits them personally. Personally, um, But yeah, man, this place is going to turn to a fucking straight up shithole if that is indeed their fucking plan. I hope that uh, that's not their plan, but it seems like that's what it's going to because climate change is real. Uh, there's a drought here in Arizona. There's a drought in a lot, a lot of other places. Temperatures are rising. Um, fossil fuels being fucking attacked. 
And that is one of the biggest fucking industries, if not the biggest industries in the whole entire world, where people have invested trillions of dollars into that whole entire fucking organization. So these people are willing to go on this. Here's the thing. We took away these oligarchs, yachts, apartments, properties, and they don't fucking care. You know why? Because they kissed it all goodbye anyway, because I think the nukes will start flying because... I, now, here's the thing, though. I, here's the kicker. Now, what I don't know is if our politicians who are not authoritarian are on these people's sides. Like, if all the world leaders have just came together and decided, yeah, you can go ahead and bomb us here, bomb us there, bomb us here, bomb us there, just to decrease the population, to keep this bitch running so that climate won't change too much but yeah we do indeed have too many fucking people here and it needs to be a fucking third world war to decrease the population in order for the but here's the thing though if the world war gets out of hand then there will be nuclear fallout and nobody will be able to live on this motherfucking planet and the atmosphere will turn fucking toxic uh unless it is a controlled third type of fucking nuclear war you get what i'm saying if it is controlled by those who are in power or they think they can control it and that's a whole nother issue but yeah if they are fucking um trying to control it it will get out of hand because the citizens will start to catch on and they all hell fucking break with that. So either way, man, these people who are trying to solve the issue through violence and crazy fucking bullshit, it's not going to work out. Because these people, first of all, the Trumps, the Putins, they're incompetent. Okay? And anybody who's intelligent, they shoot them down and they get rid of them. So through their incompetence, because they're so fucking stupid... They will always try to do violence to compensate for their fucking stupidity because they're fucking stupid. Rape, torture, murder. It's because they're so fucking stupid to get all frustrated and shit and start killing every fucking body in the place. So all I'm saying is something big is fucking happening and everything is pointing into that fucking direction. And what will settle all this shit down? If our fucking world leaders who are on our side ain't working with Putin and fucking Trump and all these authoritarian motherfuckers like Xi Jinping and the motherfucking from Saudi Arabia, <coughs> Joe Biden's goofy ass is gonna have to strike the snake's fucking head. He's gonna basically have to send in a shit ton of fucking shit to kill Putin's bitch ass. If Biden can pull off killing Putin in one strike, all the other fucking dominoes will fall and settle the fuck down. GGP's ass, Donald Trump's goofy fucking ass. All the little Trumps all across the fucking world want to be fucking authoritarian, losing motherfucking golf cart riding pieces of shit. We'll all settle the fuck down, blood. But yeah, I don't think Joe Biden's gonna have the balls to fucking do that. But yeah, man. All I'm saying is, it has to be done. You know what I'm saying? And one of us is going to have to win. It's either going to be the woke motherfuckers or the authoritarian motherfuckers who force you to believe anything that they want you to fucking believe. Okay? That's what you need to understand. These authoritarian motherfuckers are highly pissed off because you're fucking teaching their fucking stupid ass zombies too much shit. From the zombies in China... To the zombies in motherfucking North Korea. To the zombies in Russia. To the fucking corporate zombies that are underneath Donald Trump's fucking golf cart. And lifting it on and carrying his fat fucking useless ass everywhere he wants to fucking go, baby. So yes, we are surrounded by a fucking world full of corporate zombie fucking slaves, player. And they're ready to fucking attack in a big fucking way. Is what I can see... By reading the whole fucking story. Now, if that's not the case, cool. If everything settles down and everybody lives in peace, cool. But hey, baby, all I know is in the next life, 
Jesus is going to handle all these wannabe authoritarian motherfuckers who think they're gods and think they're fucking special blood. So even at the end of it all, they will fucking lose in a big way. So it is what it is, baby. Anyway, you guys have a beautiful fucking nation. Enjoy whatever kind of Jesus you believe in, baby. Russian Jesus, Republican Jesus, or the Jesus like mine who wants to tax the fucking billionaire, baby. Anyways, you guys have a beautiful black house.